Hello SNA 2107 students and welcome to your focus video to show you how to find the departments and teams and people which are the SNHU resources here at the university to help support your success. First and foremost, I wanted to show you how you could find the learning communities and get into SNHU Connect from your Brightspace classroom. You can do that by clicking on course menu, click on learning modules, and when you do that, scroll down to learning community. When you click on learning community, um, it will pull up this page where you will see what the learning community is, a little bit of an overview. The learning community is outside of your Brightspace classroom space. Nothing is graded in here. You don't put any assignments in the learning community because it's outside of Brightspace. But it's a place where you meet virtually with classmates. You can join study groups. You can connect with um, tutors out there. You can practice the skills that you need to succeed. You can join clubs and organizations. It's just a really cool space for you to engage yourself even further with the university. So once you click on learning community, it will take you into what is called SNHU Connect. You will need login access. Keep in mind your access is created about seven to 10 days after you register for your SNHU classes. So give it that seven to 10 days to have your login be active. If you ever get stuck, reach out to your advisor or your instructor and we can make sure you get what you need. Now, the university has so many departments that are here for your success, and you can find them directly in your Brightspace classroom. They're just a click away. If you look at the top of your Brightspace classroom, you will see that you have direct access to the Shapiro Library. When you push the down arrow, you will find all kinds of helpful tips for your success that you can explore. You can look over how to cite your sources. There's a whole guide for you to make this easier and easier to understand. There's a frequently asked research question section, research guides, and you can also directly link to the Shapiro Library homepage. You can also chat with the librarian once you go through that homepage. Underneath academic support, if you click on academic support at the top of your class, it's gonna pull up their whole menu of all the services that they have available here to you at the university. There are so many things available to you from academic support. They have 24 seven drop-in tutoring, they have the written feedback center, workshops, and so many other resources, including um, academic coaching, and then they have also peer tutoring. So for them, you have 24 seven drop-in tutoring. It's easy, it's convenient, it's just a click away. You can do this when it's convenient for you and your schedule. And then they have these more one-on-one -on -one sessions with peer tutors. Those are appointment based, but again, you can work with what is best for your schedule. Academic coaches are for if you need maybe just a little bit of an extra support, you have an actual dedicated coach that you are assigned to. And again, that's appointment based. The written feedback services are a wonderful service for you to utilize. Um, if you just want an extra set of eyes on any of your writing assignments, this can be journals, this can be projects, this can be discussion assignments, anything SNHU related in regards to writing assignments. You actually just click on this try it now button and you can upload and submit your drafts of your assignment. Um, you'll have some questions to answer like where you are in the assignment, what the assignment directions and instructions were, and then you get feedback usually within 12 hours. A lot of students love this if they've been out of school for a while or you haven't written academically ever or in a long time. It just is a really great way for you to get more comfortable and confident with your writing. Plus, there are tons of workshops. If you click on the try it now, button under workshops, you will see a whole schedule of workshops that the academic support team has throughout the term. Plus, there's a lot of great topics on like citations, um, starting research papers, how to work in the discussion board. I mean, there's just a plethora of things that are right there at your fingertips through academic support. So I wanted to make sure I showed you that whole menu because there's just so many good things for you and your success. Also, Underneath the help button, click the arrow, you will find the IT service desk. That is our help desk for any issues you might have with any technology things, um, questions you might have about technology software that are specific to the university or your classroom setting. You also have these incredible student tutorial videos that are great for you to watch. Um, you can kind of just go through the menu and see what might pique your interest. But I wanted to focus in on this online student services button. Go ahead and click it. And when you click it, it is gonna pull up all of the departments and um, resources that are directly from the university all in one spot. So you'll see technology support, the help desk is here again. You can access the bookstore. Here's another link to academic support. You can get to your academic advisors. Um, there's a quick uh, My SNHU orientation that kind of walks you through uh, like a virtual tour of SNHU and commonly used features. Again, there's access to the library. 
Um, there's these great helpful videos and tutorials on your Brightspace learning environment and helping you get used to act, um, navigating that. Office 365 and other software, this is a link, click the blue, gets you to where you wanna go, where you can actually download software for free as an SNHU student. Here in Student 107, you're gonna use Microsoft Word templates throughout the class. So this is a great um, software for you to be able to download for free so that you have success with those templates from week to week when they are assigned to you in your Student 107 course. There's also other software that you might find helpful depending on your major um, and how far along you are in your journey. There is also InfoBase, which is a tutorial-based program that kind of shows you how to use applications like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and a bunch of others. We have the amazing Online Accessibility Center team. This is a team of people that work to make sure that you get classroom um, content in a way that works best for you and is accessible for you as a learner. We have a direct link to SNHU Career Services. They have the Handshake um, system, which is a wonderful job board for you guys to research. Plus they also do appointments and workshops. SNHU Wellness is a wonderful resource for wellness support tools all kinds of things on there for students and every term students tell me how much they appreciate um, exploring and utilizing the SNHU wellness platform. Plus you have another link here to SNHU Connect. That's for the student clubs, organizations, and you can find the SNUMA 07 learning community. Student, student financial services is in here too in case you want a direct link to them. So as you can see, there's so much here and I know it can be a little bit overwhelming because there's so many departments and so many people here for your success. So start small. Just think of like the one or two things you might need a little bit of extra support with or you have questions on and reach out to those departments because we are here for your success. You don't have to do this alone and just know we're only a click away. You got this. Have a wonderful week in SNHU 107.